See you, man. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Bringing enjoy. commodities, firewood, etc. Food, chili. Yeah, just don't stand, stay in the road too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're out of here. All right, heading out. It is 736. I see an orange blaze up here. We take a right to go north. That's where I came from, straight down that road. And this over here, you can see people parked. That's what they call the stargazing area. And this is famous for coming out because there's no ambient light anywhere. And it's great for uh, astronomy type stuff. Huh, there you go. And there's my Florida Trail. I think it's 14.3 to the campsite I'd like to get to. A little bit later start, but man, what a great stop. Great calling the Nero yesterday where Joe joined me. And first time I've had anybody around in five or six days other than gastro for the first couple of days. And I fully expect to trape through a lot of water today. Saw some wild turkeys. Probably not too wild around here at the moment, but wild enough they're not showing themselves. I wonder what they do. Oh, there he goes. One, two, three. Wow. Uh oh. God dang it. I just saw this. Holy crap, holy. <sighs> The problem is I was able to avoid it for just a little while till I get up here and then no options as far as you can see that's where I started back there's the uh, Kissimmee Prairie office <clears throat> Unfortunately, in this type of water, I have seen some pretty good-sized gators as I was coming through some of this wetland. I don't want to see any right now. Yeah, that's about as deep as I've seen it for a while. I have my sweatpants on. I should have put them up, but I didn't. God dang. Yeah, up to knees. Let's see, you can see paths where gators have walked through. Okay. Wow. If I stay over here, it's not as deep as that channel. All right, type two fun again. Actually, kind of refreshing for my feet. But then after your feet are wet and they don't get dry, they blister easier with the mileage. Oh yeah, it's getting a little bit shallower here. Uh, yeah, but it gets dark again. All right, putting this up. You can still barely see the Kissimmee Prairie office. I missed possibly a good sunrise earlier. Um, now I'm, I've already waded through a bunch of water. I'm on the prairie, the wetlands type prairie. Uh, it's dry again for a while, but I read some notes on the Far Out app, and I got a lot more water walking to do today. But at this point, it's no big deal. You kind of get used to it. That clump of trees over there, that might be where there is a, another oak hammock I walked through in two miles. I don't know if that's two miles. Could be. Pretty cool track. I'm not sure what they are. 
sandhill crane, some type of a long-legged water bird, I think. Oh. Well, this may be it. Oh, look at the reflection of the palm trees in the water. I may not have any choice because it looks like almost a little river. It's called a, a slough here. So I don't think I've got a choice. However, there's a spot over here that it's possible. Let's see. Ooh, there's a pathway. Well, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Let's just see what happens this way. See if I can get through without wading too deep or getting in too much mud. All right. Look at the palmettos as far as you can see. That is amazing. Florida is beautiful. Okay, after two and a half hours of walking through this big plain, I'm coming to a gate. And what do I see setting right here on the frickin' edge is a huge gator. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Sunny gun. I don't know what to do. He's right in my path. And he's a big boy. Well, I got by him. I walked over that way through some bush, hoping there was no other gator laying in there that I couldn't see. Man, oh man. Here's a gate. Uh, but wow, what a big boy that is. I better uh, hit it while I can. He's gonna go down here and see the gator. He don't know if he's gonna get past him or not, but he thinks he might, might not be as afraid as me. We'll see. Wow, that's him breathing. Oh man. Oh well. Oh look at him. This was a great stop. It was only a hundred yards away from my gator encounter. A guy here named Scott, real interesting fella. He uh, uh he's heading southbound. We walked down there and I showed him the gator. You got a kick out of that. The gator had moved and he made a noise. You'll hear it because I videoed it, went down there with him. This water was fantastic. I filtered it anyway, but it, it really seemed fantastic. All right, I'm a little under nine miles. I spent way too long here, but enjoyed conversation with Scott. There he is, way down there. <laughs> we'll see. If the gator has moved again, he might have a hard time getting by him. All right. Wow, I am really red-faced. I am so hot. Got my umbrella out. This is no shade whatsoever since my last stop. I did stop, get my hoodie, put it on, and then walk with it for a long time. And then I decided to get my umbrella out. I took my, uh, you can go, this fence roll's gone on for miles. Um, I took, uh, I, I put an electrolyte in my water, filled up my water, trying to drink enough water. I only have 1.2 miles to this lock, so that's not too bad. Probably about uh, 30 minutes. I'm not moving real fast. This terrain is really tough. It's got big holes in it all over so you gotta watch your step real close all right wow i just finished one of the toughest sections 
this fence row in turns places is really rough walking it I would guess at least three miles maybe four or five it's really hard to say but man that's tough I'm glad to hit a road walk now we should be coming up on uh, on the lock here before too long wow I'm exhausted I can't wait to get up here I will take a break dry my feet off again man I stepped in some crap oh my god it was horrible it's like a it got up to my knees and it's like man this must be a gator hole no matter where I stepped it got up to my knees and stunk all right wow glad to be out of that okay a lock this is really cool check this out Kissimmee River that's where I walked in at down that road do a full 360 here's the other side of the lock I don't know how big it is but we'll walk through and find out there's supposed to be a water spigot somewhere I don't know where Let's walk through here. They got a lot of water flowing here. I don't know what's going on, but it's a flowing. These little birds are probably enjoying fish. just the Kissimmee River it's not the lock here's the lock cool so the lock guy Alan somebody mentioned in a comment I'm supposed to walk through here somehow let's see oh there's a water spigot with a hose oh awesome wow I don't see any boats Cool lock. I guess. All right, we got these guys on both sides. It's just like a group, I guess. Well, it's, they went down about the, or they went down about the same time. Them guys come back, they come through and went. They had a couple, three guys in the boat out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that's Mike, the lock guy. He sit there and talk my leg off while I was airing my feet out filtering some more water so I'm running late this is uh, the pathway they allow the uh, Florida trail hikers to come through uh, but that's okay because there's a campground less than two miles closer than the other campground it's supposed to be pretty nice so I'm gonna do that's called Kisso K-I-C-C-O they say it's pronounced Kisso I'm gonna shoot for that Wow does that look out of place? A wheelchair parking. <laughs> I guess that's what that is. Disabled Hunter Special Use Vehicle Road. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, it was a cattle town, basically. Yeah, yeah. company town. Yeah. That's the foundation right there? It's either a foundation or a sidewalk. I'm not sure. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I got to hit it, guys. Take it easy. All 
Only about two tenths of a mile from Rattlesnake Camp, which is supposed to be a nice backpacker camp with uh, tables, picnic tables, or a table, I don't know. But look, we're back in Oak Hammocks. Man, I've been out in the sun all day. It's been tough. I've taken some long breaks. Anyway, we'll be here in just a second. All right. Rattlesnake Hammock Campsite. Uh, maybe around the corner? It says left. I don't see a blue... Oh man, I hate that. All right, oh, not a bad looking site. It's an old beat up picnic table and a fire ring and a big oak tree. I gotta watch where I set my tent up tonight. Try not to get under something that's dead, but man, sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, you have arrived. And storms are coming in. Okay, there's my bear hang tonight. Not great, but it's away from me. Beautiful oak tree here. My tent's set up. I'm about ready to get in it. There's thunder around. A couple of little drops of rain. I've grabbed something to eat. I'm good. And it's about time to get in bed. What time is it? 5.23. Yeah, 5.30 to 6. To 6.30 at the latest. Can you hear the rain? Oop, there's a little bit of lightning. It's kind of let up. It's been raining about like this and a little bit harder for well over half an hour. Actually, it's cooled things down. It's kind of warm, so it's good other than I don't really like the lightning. And I'm hoping all the limbs on these big oaks. I looked above, they didn't look like any of them were dead. But you never know, these have lots of limbs on them. I barely got set up in time. Grabbed something real quick to eat, put everything up, did my bear hang, threw everything in the tent, jumped in, and it started raining. So, good timing. Good night. <laughs> 